And look out next Saturday night for the most diversified light show ever presented in Edmonton as the European Discotheque puts on a display of every kind of light, projector, and effects they have available, including an unbelievable laser beam. And tonight, da da da, the Roller Dome Disco has imported a guest DJ from CKXL 1140, Wes Erickson from Calgary. He'll be down to do the best disco in town from 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. at 104th Avenue and 102nd Street. Woo! California. All the Chet guys are going to be at the Christmas party tonight. That's where they are. What are you doing tonight? Well, I thought I might uh, watch a little of the tube, uh, a couple of those crummy detective shows. Seems like it's all we can uh, see. Ah, uh, come on! Detective shows are great. Detective shows are are are, are fake. They're sorry. They're silly. I, I, the way they you know never notice that Kojak always gets a parking place. Really? He could be at the most dastardly crime at the height of rush hour. <laughs> There's a free parking place right there in front of whatever it's going I, uh... Oh, come on, you're gonna tell me that all that is phony? Right. Well, their guns are real. Their guns are not real. Oh, really? No. As a matter of fact, of all the detectives on, uh, uh on television, I bet you that Angie Dickinson is the only one with real 38s. So... You gotta be kidding me with that. I, uh, I'm, all so, I'm I'm almost so nauseated, I don't even think I'll put up the tree. Put up the tree. All right. The tree is now standing in Studio B. Look at it. It is, without any question, the most gorgeous-looking thing I have ever seen. We're going in there right now. I don't what like do the tree. What do you think? Huh? I don't like the tree. Why don't you, Jerry? What's the matter with the tree? I just don't my, like the tree. My boss is here, and he doesn't know. What, do you, what don't you like about it? Lists. It lists? Yes. The starboard. <laughs> it, would you say list again for us, please? List. It lists? Starboard. You always have a list? Uh, no, listen, I uh, I know it lists a little bit, but I, Jerry, you got to understand, we can't do anything. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would appreciate it if you whispered, because the least little vibration or noise could jar the truth. What do you think of it, guys? Yeah! I think it's... I think it's really beautiful. Jerry, you must you must admit that it really is a gorgeous tree. Come on now. Look at the garlands on it. Well, it still lists to starboard. Well, if it listed to port, I would be okay. What is your days in the Navy got to do with my Christmas tree? I think it's a fine Christmas tree, and I think at this very moment, I am going to play one of the... Do you recognize that? Hearts of Oak. Uh, no, <laughs> it's called O'Tannenbaum, Oak Christmas. Hearts of Oak. How bad is that? Uh, I want you to know, I think we'll even fire up the mighty McCord Wurlitzer Christmas organ. Do you and know what Hearts of Oak is? No. I, uh, do you mind if I fire up the mighty McCord Wurlitzer Christmas oh, organ? Do you know what Hearts of Oak is? No, what a Hearts of Oak. That's the day of March Pass. That's awful. I, I wouldn't fire up the Mighty McCord Wurlitzer organ. Didn't you a bunch of belly buttons walking past? Why wouldn't you fire up the McCord Wurlitzer organ? You're probably asking me that. I'm asking you that. Because the mighty vibrations could bring down the tree. Uh, I'm going to fire it up anyway. <laughs> with yourself? Uh, not pretty bad, Kimo. I'm really sorry. I want you to know that this happened last year, but it didn't deter us from trying and trying oh, again. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Once again, once again, uh, once again, we'll try it. Uh, we'll try it tomorrow. Will you, will you uh, please tell Stan Baker that I'm turning in my Legion card? Please. <laughs> Jerry, yeah. where did you have lunch? I, uh, Stan Baker, Jerry's turning in his Legion card. Totally irrelevant material. I am going it's to try... Not. Why is it uh, relevant? Canadian Legion. What about the Canadian Legion? 25 years, man. 25 years? 25 years. And you turned in your card today? Yes, I did. Why, because they didn't have the Christmas tree there? Because it listed to... to uh, uh, Their Christmas tree listed to starboard as well? Did. Oh, I'm sorry. You dummy. Now oh, get it up. Okay. All right, will you wait for the tree again tomorrow? I wonder if it's worth all the heartache waiting just for the disappointment! What's she talking about, the tree? No, no, Mr. Forbes material. That's what she's talking about. My 
my melody of love from 6.30, Chad. Rob Christie, yeah. how are you? Fine, I, fine. Yes. fine. Uh, it's about your uh, <clears throat> uh, your vacation I've been hearing about. Yes. Uh, going to Tahiti, is right. that right? Yes. <laughs> when are you going? March 29th. March 29th. You don't want to hear any more about it, No, right? you can leave it right there. Yeah, because you, you and I can't be away at the same time. Is that what you're yeah, that's what I'm trying to say right now. Listen, next question is, can I get the same deal? <laughs> I think I just better walk on here. Ken Edmonton, 6 0 Rock. I hear some. <laughs> so we can feel. Whoa! Some kind of good. With 6 30 chance. Jeremy, baby. Hello! You good looking thing. I just got about ten minutes from my mouth. Why did you want to put a ticket button now? Now, this is the killer speaking. Oh, that's nice. I am. I'm happy. Do I like what? I'm calling the guys right now. Ed Nate, who called and said uh, they'd uh, sing a Christmas song for me. I, and, <laughs> this I got to hear. I don't believe that any... Hello? Hello? Is this uh, Don Chickle? Yes, it is. Uh, I understand there's about 20 guys here who want to sing something in the spirit of Christmas. Well, there sure is. Okay. I want, first of all, I want to thank all the guys at Nate who have helped out so many years in the past uh, with Jed Santa's Anonymous. And I tell you something, you've always done a great job for us. Now, uh, turn your radio down. What song are you going to favor us with in the festive season? We're going to sing to you. Yes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. As in... That one? Yeah, you've heard it before? Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. Only 578 times. But <laughs> I, I, 579, I can, I can bear. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Do you need a note? Yes. Mm, that'll do. We Lay it on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Yeah, that's his business. How was that? I didn't know you guys could sing. Neither did we. I knew you could drink, but I didn't know you could sing. <laughs> Listen, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thanks for calling, guys. Okay, thanks. Wow. How about that? 20 guys all sounding like the tired mating call of a hunk of sandpaper. It's beautiful. I I want you to know, at this very moment, we are standing here in beautiful Studio B in the midst of the Ched building, and it is really a treat to look at this Christmas tree. Gang, what do you say? Really incredible. Chris, you've done a fantastic job. Listen, I want you should know that it was my pleasure to be able to help you out once again. I, I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, we have called from Leduc, Alberta, Mr. Chris Kringlestein, I said, Mr. Chris Kringlestein. <laughs> pick it up, will you? Pick it up. You're me on. No, I'm not. And he is a professional Christmas tree raiser. And uh, at this time, while the lights are blazing on the Ched Christmas tree, we would like to introduce Mr. Chris Kringlestein to sing his Christmas tree raising melody. With the lights shimmering and the garlands glowing in the background, the Christmas tree raiser, Chris Kringlestein! Here I am now. Good night, I like that. Uh, Chris. May you put a little sand up here? Uh, I kind of like that. It's a good looking tree, you know. Uh, Chris. Now it seems to look real good and steady, too. Don't get too close uh, to the tree, Chris. Back away. So there's, uh, there's nothing else. I think that I can do. The one thing you can do is move move away from the tree. Feel it now. Ah, uh, yeah, it's solid like a rock. Don't touch it, Chris. That shouldn't bend. Get your hands off! But there it goes. Nice going. What the heck? That's life, my friend. Oh, you did it again, Chris. Oh, fish I'm going home and maybe put up a Hanukkah bush. Your kind of music for your kind of weekend. 6.30, check. It's 25 before 7 o'clock. Hi, I'm Steve Williams on your Saturday night. And a cold one it is, too. You did not have to kick me in the face. You could have been a lady. Hey, for one. Bob 
for Zircon, 6.30, Jeb, this morning. At 26 minutes before 9 o'clock. No, I jest when I mentioned Charlie might be slightly on the chubby side, our own 20-pound butterball, but you'll see for yourself. If you want to check your favorite music store, uh, you will probably see a Ched chart there, and it has a picture of the Ched guys on there. And uh, it really makes me look old, mainly because I'm older than the rest of these guys around here. But nevertheless, you'll see a large Charlie is. Nice little picture of all the Ched guys there, and also a picture of Chuck beside the waltzing weather hog. You'll be able to know Chuck. He's the one with the dark glasses on. <laughs> one below zero. No, it's one below right now, and it's going to go to zero and then up to 20 above today. Looks like a lovely Christmas, up to 25 today, even warmer tomorrow. Right now in downtown Edmonton, minus one CAG degree. Oh. It's seven to nine. I'm Bob Layton on the West Montgomery Morning Show. Oh. Merry Christmas, Wes. I can't hear you, Wes. I said it's not Christmas yet. Try talking into the microphone, Wes. Charlie, don't give me a bad time. No, we're not. I'm trying to teach you if I have to do it right here. on. You have to talk right into the microphone, Wes. <laughs> well, let's get rid of the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come no. after 12 years. Do you realize I've come out about 12 years of this radio station? I'm talking like I am. All of a sudden, I'm not talking in the microphone. How well, have I survived for the 12 years? Well, it's, it's just because... Merry Christmas, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's a minute after 9 o'clock with a checker. Chad and Bob Dylan knocking on heaven's door. Good afternoon. I am Bruce Bowie. And what kind of a day has Bruce Bowie had? Well, my car wouldn't start this morning. I waited two hours for a boost that was supposed to take three quarters of an hour to get here. It took me about an hour to drive a trip that usually takes me 20 minutes. Other than that, day's been just fine. Let's go shopping. <laughs> I'm not playing that dumb thing. You're playing chicken man? I'm not playing that dumb thing. I heard it this morning. It was dumb. Play it. No, I'm going to stand over here. Well, if you're going to stand anywhere, don't stand there. Oh, really? No, a little to the right. You're right here? Right there. <laughs> From 6.30, Chad. Wednesday. Get in here. Silly song stops in the middle of a record like that. Hold that record up there, will you? Go, go, hold it up, yeah. Just hold it up there. Oh, nice going. You missed the record. Oh. Get the boss's chandelier good. Hi, PJ. Hi, Bobby. I'd like to stick around and chit chat with you back then, man, because I'm on the run. You understand? This kid was born to run, and I'm going to run. So here we go. I understand on the run, yeah. We gotta run ya over! Six thirty Chad presents a hot wax weekend. In Daddy Edmontonian, no it's here. C A T D It's a wax to watch. On Radio Big Rio, C A T D Not the person that married your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 